Leslie and Tea Time Jess. From Leslie Has Veggies, we're here today with a morning chit chat. Chaz. And I want to discuss a book that I received for review. It's called The Essential Guide to Women's Herbal Medicine by Cindy Gilbert, ND. And I think ND stands for Naturopathic Doctor. I am a nurse, but I'm also, Dad calls me his new age girl. I like to reach for an herbal medication, a natural medication, before I reach for a traditional pill. My mom had a dependence on medication, uh, prescription medication, so I am very, very mindful of opening that bottle of, you know, anything, narcotic, even an aspirin. I um, sprained a ligament in my foot three weeks ago, and I was prescribed narcotics. I took one of them because the first night I was in so much pain, I was yelping from the bedroom. I couldn't even get out of the bed. But you brought up aspirin. What did you read to me this morning? Wasn't that one of the... The uh, aspirin. Did you oh, know that willow bark is, is one of the original, original inspirations, inspirations for making, making aspirin. aspirin? You know where you found that? You found that in this book. Yep. This book is great, and I'll tell you why I like it. I've had other, or I've rent, I've rented, I've loaned other books from the library, borrowed them, and I I can't get through because I can't find what it is I'm looking for. If you look on the table of contents, there's an introduction to herbal medicine. There's women's health conditions. So say you are having, um, say you're depressed. What can I take to kind of lift my spirits and get me through that depression? It's right there. You look up the page. It's on page 77. But say you're in the health food store and you say, black cohosh. I seem to recall that might be good for menopause and hot flashes, but I can't remember. Well, let's go to page 212, Jessica. Why not? And I let's looked up things like had, had a cure acne and menorrhea. Yeah. Well, it, it's a current me it, the current medicinal uses are for um, joints, muscles, um, fibroids, infertility, and menopause. I was correct. Now, the, you don't need to just take herbs. You don't just need to take traditional medicine. Why not combine them both, Jessica? Right. Do you know that when you combine them both, you get the best? You can get the best of both worlds. You don't have to give up the aspirin. So you know what I could have done, Jessica, and I didn't even think of it? I could have taken a Tylenol, and I could have rubbed um, cayenne pepper right. cream on my, on my ankle. The ingredient, capsaicin, really does relieve joint pain. There's no, if you just love your Tylenol, if you just love your traditional, combine them. If you're like me, and you just really like traditional, because what goes in your body, Jessica, it's in there. It's going through your system. Now, you're breastfeeding. Right, I take fenugreek. Fenugreek is in this book. What does fenugreek do? It helps promote lactation. Do you know what else? It do also you... lowers your blood sugar. Yes. It's good with your blood pressure. It's good for a lot of things. What do you things. know about hormones? That they feed hormones to the cows to make them produce? They do, yes. I read that in the book that they also give fenugreek to dairy cows to promote lactation. To increase to increase their milk supply. So true. these are some of the things that we didn't know. Um, did you know that St. John's Ward is an effective treatment for depression, but it has a lot of dangerous side effects? You'll find those in the book so you, don't, you know, well, I don't want to take St. John's Ward with this, or I don't want to take St. John's Ward with that. Maybe you can look that up while I'm, I'm talking. Supposing you're pregnant and you're just like, oh, gosh, I'm just, I'm so nauseous. What do I take? Ginger. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Now. And peppermint. But did you know that peppermint also can... I didn't know it. It can dry up your milk it supply. It dries up your milk supply, yes. So, it does. say you have a baby and you just really don't want to breastfeed and you don't want to go walk around with, with engorged breasts, you, they, there's even anecdotal um, information stories about women who have sucked on peppermint um, candies to dry up their milk supply. Right. I don't know if that's really true, but they say that um, peppermint is one of the products that you can use to dry up your milk supply. Um, acne, breast cancer, endometriosis, high blood pressure. And even genital warts. What what do you think would be good for that? Who doesn't love a good genital wart? Who doesn't love a good genital wart? Not me. Green tea. And you know what? Think about it, Jessica. There's a lot of acne medications on the market that have like um, the salicylic acid or the benzoyl peroxide, but they combine it with the green tea. Mm -hmm. Why not just use? Why not why use not? green tea and just try and see if that works first? Um, Here's St. John's. Wart. Now this is something that I did know. This is this is well documented and I've seen it in the literature. People with um, high blood sugar, they really recommend, like say you have your oatmeal in the morning, instead of putting tons of sugar on it, put cinnamon on it. Do you know that cinnamon keeps your blood sugar stable and it yes. helps prevent the spikes? 
Obviously, I think it can also help you lose weight. I think because it keeps your blood sugar. I'm not. Yeah. I don't really know about that. But what does it say about St. John's Wort? Um, it speeds up the metabolism of many pharmaceutical drugs, including oral contraceptives. In some cases, women taking both oral contraceptives and St. John's Wort have become pregnant because of this interaction. So before taking St. John's Wort, consult with a healthcare provider familiar with drug herb interactions. St. John's Wort appears to be safe during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Herbal remedies, herbal medicines are medicines, Jessica. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, a fly by night. Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, it's like, you know, Jessica, these, these remedies do work, but they do have side effects. On them. They do. Okay. But holistic medication and medications and herbs like this have been around longer than Bayer. Right. You, you know, this book will tell you what some of the most favored herbs are for women and how to use them. And it's up to date. So you know you're getting the the when most many herbs, I wonder how many herbs are um I think there's fifty. I think I read is that there? there's oh, I'm probably gonna be wrong, but I there's a lot of herbs. Is there? So there's a I don't remember exactly how many. What else how else is this book um indexed? Wow. Everything, Jessica, even down to hemorrhoids. Yeah. Heartburn, hemorrhoids. Acne. Now I know as being a nurse, like it, it says here, um that which hazel? hazel? Jessica, instead of, you know, I, and I know this, instead of going out and buying an expensive, expensive, expensive cream, it's probably not going to work. Even in the hospital, as a nurse, because I worked um, neonatal, uh, neonatal ICU and pediatrics, when you're in the hospital and you have a baby, hemorrhoids, they're bound to pop out, Jessica. I know, but if you get the internal ones, they don't go away. But they tell you to take a, uh, a little compress, wet it with witch hazel, and just kind of stick it up there and let it work its magic. And it really will shrink um, the hemorrhoidal tissues, that's true. Hemorrhoids, you know what hem hemorrhoids are? Inflamed veins. They're varicose veins in the in, rectum and anus. And I don't, want to, I don't want to be um, crude, but that's that's what they are. They're just varicose veins. Which reminds me, this book... And I told you how to get rid know, of varicose veins. I know, veins. And, even, and I have terrible varicose veins. But what I love also is that it doesn't, it doesn't shun traditional medicine. And I know I've said that before, but it will tell you... Um, Say let's let's look up. Um, I, I don't want. I really don't want to say genital warts because let's look, look up, up. Uh, HPV then, because I think that's in the book. Herpes. Okay, it says the first line. The first line herb that you'd want to take for herpes is lemon balm. If you're going to go the traditional route, of course you're going to want to take an antiviral. Now, because I don't know. It's a virus. Right. I don't know if you know. And I, shoot, I wish I would have known this. I had um, I had shingles last year. Oh man, was that painful? Shingles. Is the is a herpes virus that causes chicken pox. It's um, varicella, but it is in the herpes family, Jessica. It is. So I could have taken lemon balm, which I didn't. I just kind of toughed it through, and man, was I in pain. An antiviral, I did. I took Zovirax because I caught it in the first couple days, and it also says other herbal treatments that you can try: echinacea, propolis, and St. John's wort. So it gives you the three options to use individually or together. Let's take another one, Jessica. Let's do the good old-fashioned premenstrual syndrome. Which Lord only knows we've never suffered from. Heck no. I mean, I never stabbed Dad in the back. I didn't know where you were going with that. You know what Dad says PMS stands for? Pop must suffer. Pop must suffer. <sighs> yeah. So let's, let's look at that. For the first herb, the first line herb is primrose. Mm -hmm. Next, say you're having those horrible cramps, you just feel miserable, anti-inflammatory. Other herbal treatments, is it chaste tree, dandelion, ginkgo, and, and St. John's wort. I mean, why not try an herbal before you go to the, um, straight for the Motrin, right? Or Pamperin. Right. This book is going to be, I'm going to keep this in my room with my other, you know, important books that I reference a lot. My Bible. Seriously, I'm not kidding. My Bible and some other books that I just really, really, really love. I even have a book from Life magazine um, from years ago. And I think it's something about the miracle of childbirth. And it's from the 1960s. And I remember looking at that as a little girl and thinking, oh, I want to be a nurse. So, I mean, I, I still have that and I really love that. And those are my treasured books. I can't say that about my career. Anyway, the best career I ever had. I guess I've always had an affinity for dead people. The best... She's a histotechnologist. The best career I ever had, seriously, was being a mother and being a grandma. Well, even being a grandmother is even better, but that's 
That's neither here nor there. When the grandkids sleep at night. Anyway, Robert Rose, Inc., thank you so much for providing this book for Jessica and me. And I think I'm going to let Sarah borrow it because um, my other daughter is pregnant. I think she could really get a, um, a lot of use out of this book. Mm -hmm. If you like our videos, I think you could give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Just one because there's only the option for one thumbs up. Mm -mm. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Do not be a Doug Downer. It's ugly, Jess. Oh, a Doug or Debbie Downer. There you go. There you go. And be sure to subscribe. It's up there. It's up here. No, it's it, yeah. down here. It's over here. Up, up. It's down here. Oh, it's like right, it's right here. Right here. No, more like right oh. here. Oh. Oh. And have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. This book is great because it contains up-to-date knowledge on, you know, on herbs and it, do, it has up-to-date scientific research. So the information in this book is, I mean, it's up-to-date. Did you have to say that? Is holistic healing, but through a... Can't, I can't.